To hold a cat that needs an intravenous catheter, the fundamental principles of cat-friendly handling should be applied. Place a towel on the table so it is warm and not slippery for the cat. Move slowly and calmly and reassure the cat by talking and stroking it. Before starting to restrain a cat for the catheter placement, ensure you have all equipment you need to avoid disturbing the cat by leaving the room. A large soft towel on the table prevents the cat slipping. It's then readily available should it be required to wrap the cat to enhance its security and assist with restraint. The assistant is standing behind the cat and has lowered her body to provide security. She then gently restrains the cat's head with one hand while extending a forelimb at the elbow. Care should be taken not to overextend the elbow as this can cause discomfort. Small quiet clippers should be used and start them behind your back to avoid startling the cat. Local anaesthetic Emla cream is applied to the area. Here the cat is given a short break before plastic wrap is placed around the leg and covered with a dressing. Local anaesthetic cream should be left on for at least 20 minutes before the catheter is placed. The cat is stroked or could be offered a treat afterwards as a reward. This cat is less comfortable and requires more security to stay still. This time the assistant holds the cat to her body and tucks the cat under her arm. Her right arm holds the cat's head against her body. The assistant also talks quietly to the cat, rubs its chin, allows it to change position and strokes the cat once the dressing is placed. When placing the catheter, the assistant should adopt a similar position to before. Here the cat is held against her with a hand under the cat's chin, both restraining and stroking the cat. The assistant's other hand is used to gently extend the cat's elbow and raise the vein. Alternatively, a tourniquet can be used to raise the vein, or an elastic band clipped tight with forceps. Note the cat is held gently, constantly reassured and it is sitting comfortably on a towel. After sterile preparation, the catheter can be placed. The assistant remains behind the cat, extending the elbow and raising the vein with her thumb, then using this thumb to occlude the catheter while a bung or connector is placed. Note that throughout, the cat is gently restrained, stroked and spoken to with a quiet voice. Here, the assistant uses her left arm to tuck the cat into her body and also extend the elbow and raise the cephalic vein. The assistant strokes the cat's head throughout the procedure. She allows the cat to hide its head in her arm. Tape is used to secure the catheter, but very sticky tape should be avoided as it can be difficult and painful to remove. The cat's foot can be included in a dressing, but cats generally tolerate a catheter much better if the foot is left uncovered. The cat should be stroked or given a food reward after the catheter is placed. If the cat is less cooperative, a towel can be used to wrap the cat, leaving out the limb to be catheterised. The assistant has a hand under the cat's head, her body is lowered towards the table and her other hand used to extend the elbow and raise the vein. The medial saphenous vein can be used as an alternative site for intravenous catheterisation. The cat is allowed to remain standing or lying down at the front end, with the hind limbs extended towards you. The assistant can hold the top leg and raise the vein if the cat is amenable. Excessive restraint is avoided and the cat is stroked and reassured. This relaxed cat is restrained by one person while another takes a sample. However, two people may be required with less cooperative cats. One person to gently restrain the head and forelimbs and another person to hold the hind limbs. As before, the cat is held on a large soft towel. The hind limbs are not overextended and gently directed towards the person taking the sample who restrains the lower leg. The assistant gently holds the cat against her body and the other leg out of the way. She continues to stroke and reassure the cat whilst the vein is raised and the catheter placed. Mm -hmm.